Guys, welcome back to the KX250 Shipping Cart Build. Today's video is going to be rather short. I want to try to build a paddle shift system and uh, possibly add in a few extras. So, guys, be sure to stay tuned for that. This video should help any of you wanting to replicate this. But man, this thing is looking very mean. Let's get to work. waiting on this package for several days already. It is actually a steel gear shifter. This piece of angle iron is going to be part of our shift lever and it's really important that this is very heavy duty because you know there might be some intense shifting situations and stuff like that and you do not want this snapping off. Go ahead and appreciate those welds because I'll probably be cleaning and painting over them. Um, who knows though, I might just clear coat them. But yeah, that looks amazing. It really goes to show you don't need an expensive welder to lay down some nice beads. This was welded with like a pretty much the cheapest Lincoln welder possible. So this right here is our shift shaft. Basically the science here is pretty simple. The longer this is, the easier it will be to shift but the more I'll have to move my fingers. So I got these two pieces cut out and they just basically go like this. Guys, it really is this simple. From here you just put the cable on, tighten everything, and you're pretty much all set. We got the two cables hooked up. Guys, think about how much work that took to get something from that to about this finish.
Well guys, the shifter cart is finally back on the floor, looking mean and aggressive. So let me go ahead and show you the paddle shift system up close. So basically we have paddle one and paddle two. The spring that keeps them up, cables go into the stop. These are reverse cables off a buggy. They go back here, through the stops here, into the shift shaft. And basically there has to be the right amount of adjustment for in order for it to shift. So yeah, the shift shaft right here moves side to side. The cables pull it. And yeah, it's a pretty cool little design. So it definitely isn't perfect, but it will do the job. Downshift, upshift, downshift, upshift. Probably have to tweak them a little bit more, make them sit a little bit higher. But yeah, not really that hard to press. It's going to be very nice to have this on a track or on a drag strip. I'm thinking we definitely have to tweak this with like heavier cables so we can just pop the shifts really fast. Like... Fifth gear. So guys, for any of you wanting to attempt this, I hope y'all find this video useful. And if not, then I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, leave a like down below. Check out the links in the description. Subscribe if you're new. But guys, sorry this part was a little bit short. I wish I could just start this engine and just give you a little demo, but I can't. I have to rebuild the engine. And I will also be making an aero kit. That will be in the next part to make up for the short video. So guys, be sure you stay tuned for that. Big thanks to our sponsor at GoPowerSports.com for pretty much supplying us with all the parts you see here. So, guys, if you want to place an order on their store, be sure to mention my name and it's going to help me out a lot. I, I think the paddle shift mechanism turned out really nice. Let me know your comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more. Peace.